I want to be free of these memories. My name is Diana Ortiz. I want to be trusting, confident, adventurous, and carefree as I was in 1987, when I came from the United States to the western highlands of Guatemala. An American citizen, eager to teach young indigenous children to read and write in Spanish and in their native language, and to understand the Bible in their culture. But on November 2nd, 1989, the Diana Ortiz I just described ceased to exist. Now at this moment, I hardly remember the life I led before I was abducted at age 31. You may think this is strange, but even at this moment, I can sense the presence of my torturers. I can smell them. I can hear them hissing in my ears. I remember that policeman raped me again. And then I was lowered into a pit full of bodies. Children, men, women, some decapitated, all caked with blood. Ayúdame. A few were still alive. Ayúdame. I could hear them moaning. Someone was Ayúdame. leaving. I don't know if it was me. Ayúdame. Ayúdame. The men who tortured me were never brought to justice. The American who was in charge of my torture was never brought to justice. So now I know what few US citizens know. I know what it is to be an innocent civilian and to be accused, interrogated, and tortured. I know what it is to have my own government eschew my claims for political justice because my case causes political problems for them. I know what it is to wait in the dark for torture, and what it is to wait in the dark for truth. I am still waiting 